The ThinkPad X220, a nice little machine which also happens to make a great frisbee. It comes equipped with an Intel i5-2540M processor, HD 3000 graphics, and 8GB of RAM, which also happens to be similar to a certain MacBook Pro from the same year, but we'll get back to that later. With such a powerful processor, the X220 can run a little hot, so make sure to give it a nice drink of water from time to time. Alternatively, changing the thermal paste can also help with the heat. I decided to buy this laptop as a replacement for my old ThinkPad, which got ran over by a car. Yeah, don't ask. So I bought this one off of eBay. You can find these going from anywhere from about 80 to around $120, at least here in the US. I got mine for about 100 As the question is, with any new ThinkPad, what operating system should I run? Wow. For me personally, I already had a Windows machine and I didn't really have the time for racing a Linux distro, so I decided on building a Hackintosh. Since the hardware on the X220 is almost the exact same as the 2012 MacBook Pro, it's actually pretty easy to get macOS up and running on one of these. I had actually never tried to make a Hackintosh before this, so I wasn't really sure how hard it would be or really how it would turn out, but it was actually much simpler than I expected. I followed the McDonald Tech Guide, which walks you through the complete process. The most difficult part is just unscrewing the wireless card, so if you can use a screwdriver, you should be able to follow along with this guide perfectly. So how does it run? Well, pretty much exactly like a Mac. Every program I've tested works just fine. It updates like a normal Mac, and it's actually pretty damn fast, especially considering this is running on almost 7 year old hardware. Even 3D acceleration works perfectly. Here's Portal 2 running on it. I actually really surprised myself by just how much I like the operating system. I had never really used a Mac much before this, and it's actually not as bad as I thought it might be. It's basically just a really nice Linux desktop environment with the familiar command line and file structure and I actually found myself using it for a lot of different things. It's good for programming and education, music and media, and of course watching- Uh, sorry about that, can't show that on an advertiser friendly website. Uh, I mean, it's even good for praising Jesus. Anyway, if you want to make your own Hackintosh X220, the guide is really easy and I'll link it in the description. And at around $100 for the hardware, that definitely won't break the bank either. I'd definitely recommend giving it a shot.